Gina with Legacy Jewelry Appraisers and Buyers, your GIA gemologist. This week, a client came in to see me to sell her stepmother's jewelry. Now, a lot of the elderly, uh, they simply don't know what to do with their time, so they go online and they buy. And a lot of times the estates that come in to, that I see, there's price tags on the items, they've never been worn, and there's an excessive amount of jewelry left behind for the siblings or for the family members uh, to deal with after the fact of their loved ones departing. So what I have recommended to my clients is first of all, we sort through all the jewelry and we put them into what I call buckets or piles. Those items that are costume jewelry, those items that are real gold, those items are sterling silver, and items that are maybe uh, higher end jewelry items that can be sold on higher platforms, um, Etsy uh, to a jewelry store uh, for resale. So in this case, a lot of the items that um, um, we acquired for our client um, that we recommended her keeping out of her garage sale event are everything that has to do with your sterling silver, your gold, all the higher end items. Because once you have an estate sale, those are the items you do not want to have at, um, you know, given to the public uh, because they're going to be paying pennies on the dollar. So it's best to bring it into a professional and uh, have them assess those items separately. So I hope that was a great tip for today. Plenty more to come. Thank you.